Hello and welcome to today's FDA where we'll be playing map 4 out of 6 of IHNI by Karja. That's a GZ Doom map set. I played the first three maps and it's made for a continuous play so I'm going to load a save game at the end of map 3 and then go straight into map 4. Mars Base 1. Okay. And this is dark. I can see why Car just said to play this on standard sector light mode rather than software. I like that little lighting effect. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, oops, I'm not supposed to jump. Interesting. I'm not a huge fan of ghost enemies, to be honest. Um, but that's pretty minor. That's cool. So, so we got 189 enemies and two secrets. I think this is by far the most enemies we've had on a map so far. Okay, yellow door. Yeah, this is, yeah, getting way more interesting uh, visually. The last map was looked really cool. Um, this map sort of, ah, god damn it. This map's of the same quality so far. At least in these sort of generic areas before we get to the set pieces. Stuff like that. Just a little bit of detailing. And yeah, there's plenty of them on these maps, so I'm not really worried about it. That's why I'm using uh, SSG for just like one imp at a time sort of thing. Okay, red key here, yellow key down there, and a freebie there. I sort of want to... I wonder if you could bump that key. Ah. Prime secret opportunity. Yeah, see, this is like... This is Karja's style. Detailing that makes sense and matches up. I really like it. So 
that a window? This is just a, a little, another little minor thing. Um, some doors are lower on pig, whereas others aren't. I think it'd be worth making it consistent along all of them. And I like how the pickups match the torch behind them. Ah, that was a secret. What did that switch to? This is a cool little area. I wouldn't mind if there was like a revenant or something in here just to make it a little bit tougher. I don't know if it's my imagination or what, well, but it's, I feel like the previous map was a lot tougher than this one is. Granted, there's still, you know, half the map to go, monster count-wise. Oh, fuck's sake. This is a cool room, I like that concept of having to like fill the water up so you can cross it. Um, it's a little bit janky the way that the actual water looks. And the fact that it's like a solid floor. Uh, but it's still it's a cool idea. Yeah, this map definitely feels easier than the previous one so far. That's sort of why I like one bomb of map or map here. Not in the previous map, but in all the other ones. It's just a bit too easy. Well the fights aren't some of the fights at least aren't dynamic enough.
Yeah. Pretty easy. I like the change of pace and the f like mm, going outside. But yeah, still feels a bit easy. And this is on UV. I don't know why I'm doing this. Mostly just because I can, really. <laughs> but I'm paying for it. <laughs> Fuck this, that's just dumb. Shouldn't be doing that. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's not like I have to worry about health. Yeah, I had a red switch up there, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Glad I spent all that time fucking trying to shoot through that gap. Oh my god, if I had actually tried to kill all of these pinkies, it would take forever. But yeah, like, this is a lot of monsters with no threat. I'm, I'm digging this out of area. Looks really cool. I wonder where I missed that second secret. Yeah, like that could have been an arch file or something. Cool, so this will be the end of the map. Um, yeah, I like that map. It wasn't as strong as the previous one, which was really good. Uh, but this was still a really... I really enjoyed this map. Uh, especially that effect when you open the uh, shutters and the light comes in. That was really cool. 
Also the section where you're filling up the room with the water, or brown water, whatever, uh, was really interesting. Uh, as well as the outdoor area was pulled off well. Um, yeah, I'd just like it to be a little bit tougher. But I'm, I'm digging this map, so I'd recommend playing it for yourself. Uh, so I'm going to go on and do the final two maps. So thank you very much for watching.